guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm gonna talk to you kind of close because I'm sneaking into my bear bait. It's almost been uh, two weeks since I set the bear bait. One of the trying to do the last weekend, but it's Mother's Day weekend, so gotta give that time to the family. But, uh, and I tried to get in here after work a few times this week, but uh, kept having some lightning storms and rainstorms and stuff. And I uh, didn't want to get zapped, so <laughs> kind of on the mountaintops up here. So, um, but uh, up here, and uh, here's some crows. So, looks like the crows have found my bait. Hopefully those chains I added over the hole kept them out. Chains or uh, crows can be good those because they can uh, let bears know uh, where some food is, so they might help bears find the bait. But uh, anywho, I'm gonna just sneaking in here for, uh, first before I bring the bait in here, just to check it out and make sure there's not a bear on the bait right now. It's about uh, 6 30 in the evening, so yeah, there's a good chance if there's still bait in the barrel, there could be a, uh, a bear on it. But let's we'll see if a bear, if a bear has found it yet. Um, I had that can completely full a couple weekends ago, and I had uh, got uh, kind of a uh, scent block in the bottom, which I don't think they can get out and had the frosting in the trees and everything. So, it's the stuff that keep them there, I think. So, um, maybe hopefully there's still some bait in there, but brought a couple more bags of bait. I brought, oh, just checking out the corner here. Make sure there's not a bear on the road. I brought uh, a couple more bags of, of uh, bait and uh, another jug of fry grease, another uh, 14 pound thing of icing. So, all right, well, I'm gonna continue and sneak in here and see if anything hits it. And I'll let you know when I get there. Well, there's definitely hit it good. Everything's all torn up. The frosting's all licked off the trees, it looks like, and barrels all moved around quite a bit. The ground's all tore up. All the sticks are kind of torn down. And we got some bear skin. camera stay in place. Hopefully that got some pictures. Uh, like I mentioned before, I kind of wasn't sure if I set it to where the it was taking pictures last time, but uh, we'll find out. <laughs> See if there's any bait in here still. And licked all that stuff off the trees and everything. I think it rain washed it off. Oh my gosh. Look at that. They licked it clean. All oh, but the, the block is in there. Well, good thing I brought some bait. <laughs> All right, well, I'm just going back to the truck, getting the bait really quick. It's about 7 o'clock. It's dark about 8.30, so. Don't have much time to get this bait out. I'm hoping to possibly set it tonight and then hunt it, hunt over it uh, on uh, Sunday evening or something. So, give me a day or two to get on it and come into it and, uh, and uh, hopefully find bear on it. But, uh, get the bait packed up, hit over there real quick, get this done. And if I have some time 
maybe call some turkeys. <laughs> maybe see if I can find that turkey that I was chased around a couple weekends ago after I baited the first time. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right, we'll manage to get all the bait in one load. So, that's all I got today. Got to get around there. So, I get some bears back in yet. Come and get one. case that other one wasn't working and it didn't seem to be looking that great so but yeah got a big pair of bile out through there down there through a bunch of more frosting in the trees put some more heavier logs on the barrel spread some more grease around there bear bait for the first for the third time now uh, just gonna go in real quick to see if there's anything on the bait currently and I'm gonna go rebait it just uh, Friday after work right now it's about 6 30 and uh, walking the road in I already got some <laughs> pretty fresh pretty fresh uh, bear crap right in the road so Maybe I'll see one on the road. That'd be nice. That's uh, probably one of the bears hitting my bait. But uh, I'm gonna check it really quick. And uh, then come back and get all the bait. Rebait it, and then uh, gonna either hunt it for the first time tomorrow or uh, on Saturday or. Uh, Monday on uh, Memorial Day. So, all right, I'm gonna be quiet and shut this off, and just in case there's a bear cruising the road here. But uh, I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Give you an update when I get there. All right, got my bait and uh, my tree stand. I'll load it up. Bring my tree stand in there too, just in case. Uh, I just want to try to make sure that my tree stand will work. Find a tree that'll work. So I'm doing that. I just leave that in here and tucked in the brush off the road somewhere. But uh, yeah, check the card. Bear. Yeah, there was bears. Uh, put this. Rebated it last Friday. And uh, a week ago now. And uh, there was bears hitting it uh, every day. Probably got four different bears hitting it. That blonde bear, smaller one, that bigger black one, uh, possibly five different bears. I think there's a smaller black one too. And uh, another kind of medium, bigger size black bear with a Looks like, it looks like a brother or sister or something. He has a, uh, like a chocolate bear with a cool chevron uh, little patch on his chest. Which would be really cool to get. It would be a really cool hide. And since I got two tags, <laughs> I, 
could uh, be sweet if they both came in. And I just uh, tagged them both. So both my tags at once. That'd be awesome. But um, I don't know, it's probably 7:30 just now. I've got probably another hour or so, hour and a half before it gets dark and get home and get back to the family. But uh, yeah, hopefully be uh, we'll be hunting it this weekend though. And it looks like I definitely got bears still in the area. The uh, last time the bear we hit it was yesterday, so a couple of bears hit it yesterday, so they're still in the area, and there was still uh, a tiny bit of bait in, in the bottom, so, <sighs> which was good. I only brought two b bags of uh, food in there when I rebaited it last time, so that was good. All right, take a break here. <laughs> I probably got... 100 pounds or so. Easy in there. All right, let's do this. Get this done, get out of here. All right, got my tree sand set up here. Probably only uh, 10 feet up here, but there's my bear bait right there. My scent kind of goes down. Uh, Goes down this way. I think that's where the bears come from here, but I think I'm up high enough. I might even go a little bit higher once I actually hunt this. But uh, hopefully my scent will go up and over where the bears are. Um, during the day, actually, the scent just goes uphill. And then I'm kind of on the side of this ridge here, so they come down. My trail coming down is kind of on the other side of the ridge to this bait so um, uh, hopefully this is a good good spot I uh, hung a shirt up here so they can get used to seeing something weird that doesn't belong up here I have uh, just was uh, reading or listened to a podcast the Northern Hunter Hunters podcast from some guys that uh, hunt a uh, bear bait up in Alaska uh, that uh, a good friend uh, recommended so yeah I uh, figured I'd try that I'm gonna give him a couple days to get used to it hopefully that's enough but uh, yeah got about 30 minutes of daylight left and I gotta still fill the barrel up and uh, get out of here so hopefully this setup works and I'll be back in a couple days to uh, shoot a bear also <laughs> That turkey across the canyon for me is uh, a <laughs> gobbling every time I do a hay bear. Hey bear! <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear that. But <laughs> Let me see if I can get him on the way out. All right, I think it's almost about eight thirty now. <laughs> uh, PM finally got bait set up. Got my tree stand there hard to see from here you need to move that brush though <laughs> just realized that bush was there uh, would be blocking the shot and probably still be blocking the shot but anywho time to get out there turkeys are still gobbling at me from across the way Let's see if I can find them real quick before it gets dark. All right, let me turn this camera on and get out of here. some uh, more bait. I'm going to go check it to see if there's a bear on it right now and if I need to, if the bears have cleaned it out yet. So 
I brought a bag in of uh, bait in case I need to do that. So there's a bait in the barrel while I'm sitting on it. But go in there first, uh, just the rifle, and once I check it and uh, verify that, I'll come back in with my tree stand and uh, my bow and uh, sit on the bait for the rest of the day. So. sit till uh, midday and uh, rebait the bait I had. There's still enough in the barrel right now and I just uh, freshened up with some scent spray. And so that'll do till noon or so and then I'll go and uh, rebait, take a break, and uh, come back in here for the evening to sit. I did have a hound hunter drive by on the road where I was parked, but I think he saw it in my car and kept driving. Thanks, Chip. But uh, hopefully he realized that uh, there's a bear bait in here so his dogs don't run in here. But uh, yeah, here's hoping uh, one of my target bears comes. Guys, uh, midday now. It's up for three hours or so, and uh, more than three hours, I think. Uh, just going back to the truck, get some bait, rebate the can, and uh, there's a that turkey keeps a uh, tom keeps gobbling away from me. Kind of a ridge above where I'm parked, I think. <laughs> so, let's see if I can uh, get turkey midday and then, then maybe then come back for the evening sit over the bait. Seems to be the most popular time uh, as far as what my cameras are telling me. But uh, there has been a few times where I came in the morning, yesterday morning, uh, a bear hit to my bait, so you never know. Uh, kind of warm this morning, but uh, up here in the mountains, it's uh, still all right. Still able to wear a long sleeve, but probably sixty something up here. But, but uh, 
Yeah, let's get the bait out and uh, see if we can kill a turkey. So, back in the stand now. Uh, it's almost 2.30. As you can see, got all the, uh, got the barrel rebated. Put a bunch of more frosting up in the tree. Trees, spread some more scent out. Put a, another bag of bait in the barrel and close that back up. So, yeah, we have a bear coming in tonight. Don't know when going this way, away from the barrel, which is good. So, hopefully, a bear will come in tonight. Wish me luck. After I rebated and tried to relocate, relocate those turkeys, they shut up, so <laughs> wasn't able to go after those. So just continued uh, my rebating process and got back out here. It's kind of a good thing I did anyway. So it's uh, just got finished and it's almost 2:30, so it's kind of prime time now. So getting them back up in the tree. So yeah, maybe I'll catch up with those turkeys. <laughs> They'll probably gobble again. They they roost not too far from my bear bait here. So there's like a couple of them that roost around here. So I'll probably hear them on the way tonight. As it gets closer to dark. <laughs> ah, now the long, long sitting process, which I don't like. And you guys like tree standing? <laughs> I find it hard to sit still in one spot, so. But, uh, only one way to get good at it is just to keep on doing it. <laughs> Alright, I'll talk to you guys later. Also, one tip for you guys, if you're spraying scent kind of around your base site, if you are kind of in some high timber area, you can see this old man's beard stuff. That stuff's uh, good to spray with your scent. Uh, help hide your scent and help uh, hold that scent and get it around you. So, yeah, I got a little spray bottle. A little, uh, the, uh, what is it called? The cracked out scent stuff. So, been trying that and it's been working good and bringing bears in. But, yeah, it's good to. Way to keep the scent in the, around your bait is to spray that old man's beard stuff. So, yeah. Well, had to get down from the stand. I think it's about, oh, what time is it? Probably 6 o'clock now. Probably 6 30 something. Couldn't stand sitting in that street stand anymore. It's getting it's hot. And we think the bears are coming in. Uh, few vehicles running around and on the roads and stuff and a bunch of people camping down low in the valleys that uh, might have the bears attention I don't know <laughs> all their camp food uh, but who knows but uh, yeah all day sits are not for me so <laughs> I uh, heard that turkey again and I came back and um, uh, struck him up again and uh, uh, got him, saw his his tail fans tucking off into the brush uh, about 40 yards up a hill. So almost called him in. I think he uh, knew something was an up, so he didn't want to come in. But uh, I had my bow, so if it, I brought my shotgun. So I figured maybe I'll go back in there with a different call, my box call, and uh, see if he can strike him up again. Uh, I left some trash on the road I gotta go get to, so let's do that, and then uh, possibly get out of here and go see the family for the Memorial Day. Thanks to all you uh, soldiers out there who have uh, given your sacrifice, to, uh, uh, we wouldn't have this country that we have without you guys. And, uh, um, 
greatly appreciated as an uh, understatement. So thank you, men and women who uh, serve this country, and, uh, including uh, some of my family. My brother is, uh, and my sister, and my dad was in the Navy a long time ago. So <laughs> uh, I probably would have John joined too if I didn't get married but uh, <laughs> and had kids. So um, yeah, thanks to all you uh, that served out there. And hope you have a good Memorial Day. And uh, if I don't uh, talk to you again, I'll uh, catch you next time when I'm uh, out here again. Hopefully, uh, I changed the time on the, I corrected the time on the camera. Uh, <laughs> so, it was the wrong date and time on there. So, I've kind of been guess guessing how, uh, how and when the bears, what time the bears come in. So, um probably have a better idea exact times now and when they're coming in um i checked my card from i redated this last friday it's monday today um and checked my card and it's um all that hit it was one of the small uh black bears i had uh, that shirt hung in in there and part of my tree st stand in the in the tree that I was sitting in, so I'm wondering if uh, they uh, just haven't got used to that uh, scent being around yet. Um, so, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, maybe uh, next time I'm out here, they'll be hitting again. And like I said, maybe maybe uh, just all the campers and people running around and just got the bears uh, holed up today. But, uh, Got the tact cam on. See if I can get some footage of uh, me uh, shooting a turkey. Thanks. <laughs>